Hello everyone and welcome to the third part of creating DB schedules. In the previous videos, we have seen how to create and define attributes for a DB schedule. I also defined formulas for this schedule that will ease calculations of this DB. In this video, we will fill up this schedule and check the calculations and results of the defined formulas. Before we start, I'll just give it some aesthetic colors, like for example, the red for the red face, yellow color for the yellow face, and a blue. Let's take this color for the blue face. Let me also give colors for the important cells over here, like the balancement check. We can give it yellow color, also the total demand. Same as the total connected load. Now my DB is great and is initialized to start filling up the circuit numbers. Let's now start with one of the DBs of our project. Let's open this lighting plan and start with lighting circuits. So we have here this DB which is called DB first floor for office one, which is also reflected in the power plan but with different symbols that will not make a difference. But both plans include the same DB with the same description. But let me start first with the lighting plan. So let's open our DB schedule and start defining the attributes. DB name will be DB first floor OF1 and it is fed from SMDB first floor. Location is electrical room first floor as well. Number of phases of this DB are three phases. Let's assume that the circuit breaker size protecting this DB is 80 amperes. And the cable size is four core into 25 millimeters squared. You will know how to size a breaker and cables in the calculation section later. Now let's start defining circuit numbers. I'll start with R1. So let's get R1 from the lighting over here. So we have here the R1 circuit, which connects these number of lights, which consist of 15 total number of light fixtures. Each one has a power of 38 watts, and I already know that from the description of the legend. So 38 watts into 15 number of lights will equal 570 watts. So we'll open again the DB schedule and start filling up this circuit. I'll give it a circuit breaker rating of 10 amperes. As I mentioned earlier, a maximum allowed circuit breaker for lighting circuit shall not exceed 16 amperes. The wire type will be copper PVC. Wire cross-sectional area of a lighting circuit can be 3 into 2.5 millimeters squared. The description will include the exact location of the circuit, which in our case is Office 1. We can indicate as lighting or 15 number of lights. Office 1. Now, after that, we will first choose under which load we will enter our load. Since it is lighting, I will enter 570 watts over here and click on enter. The total wattage of this load will be automatically reflected in the R phase. Let's assume that Y1 and B1 phases have the same lighting load. So let's take a copy of these three and paste them over here. Also over here. So you will also notice that the three loads are reflected automatically on the three 
phases. Now, since each phase has the same load, we will find that our DB is balanced. We will also find the total connected load for lighting over here, and also the total demand load for the lighting in this cell over here is already calculated. Let's now open the power plan and enter a circuit number for, for example, a ring main circuit. Let's choose the R4, which consists of eight number of sockets. So we will go to R4, circuit number four, R. As I mentioned earlier, the circuit breaker size for any ring main circuit shall be 32 amperes or 30 amperes, whichever is available. So I'll enter here 32 amperes. The wire type will also be copper PVC. For a ring circuit, the cross-sectional area will be identified a bit different than other circuits. So it will be four into four millimeters squared plus two into 2.5 millimeter squared. We can widen this slot a bit. The reason for identifying a ring main circuit wire this way, because the wires will return back to the circuit breaker as we have seen earlier. So four wires into four millimeters squared are for the life and neutral lines. And the two wires into 2.5 millimeters squared are the two earth wires. Again, the types of wires, including their sizes, will be explained in details in the next section. So let's go to the description and fill up this description cell, which will be RMC ring main circuit. We can say eight number. Office one. We will enter here 800 watts under the power sockets over here because we are giving each socket 100 watts. So, eight number of sockets will be 800. So, directly the 800 is reflected in the R phase. Also, its demand load will be reflected in this cell over here. And the total load will be also reflected in this side. So I can say that my DB schedule is actually doing the calculations correctly. Another point that I want to add here, we can add a star symbol beside any circuit breaker rating to indicate the type of the breaker. For example, if I put a star beside this breaker rating, it will indicate that this breaker is RCCB type which is the residual current circuit breaker. In fact, this type of breaker is advised to be used for loads in wet areas like toilets. But I'm just clarifying here how we can assign or indicate the type of any circuit breaker by just giving it a small symbol after the rating. And we can identify the symbol over here in this cell and clarify that this symbol means protected by an RCCB. Directly, anyone will look at this DB schedule and find this sign will understand that this breaker shall be protected by an RCCB or shall be an RCCB type. I will also cover types of breakers in next section, so don't worry about things that are not explained yet. Right now, we have seen how to fill up our DB schedule. But what if I want to make an SMDB schedule instead? I will simply take a copy of this schedule and create a new sheet and paste the schedule in the new sheet over here. I will rename this sheet the same name of the SMDB, for example, SMDB first floor. Now, I know that SMDBs usually feed DBs and three-phase loads like elevators. It does not directly feed branch circuits this way. 
So what I will do is I will merge these cells all together. And then also I can remove all these types of loads and merge all of these loads into one load. You also can remove the demand factors for circuit numbers feeding distribution boards because DB's demand loads are already calculated in the DB sheet. You will continue this process and creating new DBs until you complete all the DBs and SMDBs of the project by creating different sheets. Don't merge all schedules in one sheet. For proper arrangement, make each schedule in an independent sheet. After you are done with all sheets, you can copy and paste them in AutoCAD drawing, as we will see how we can do that in the next video.